Hi, this is Michael, VK5ZEA from Port Lincoln in South Australia and I'm up at Pillar Water Hill, the home of the VK5 RAC repeater and uh, been up here this morning installing a 70 centimetre repeater and this is the, uh, the repeater in its rack frame you can see here consists of two standard GX2000 radios these are um, early 90s technology these are the first ones that I ever um, sort of had exposure to that you could program with a computer or you program them with a computer and um, it's old DOS based software and a special interface which I've still got somewhere um, and these are the first ones that you could go you could tune across the entire band without retuning using uh, very cap diodes and all types of uh, uh, fancy things in those days um, very robust fairly efficient only needs minimal fan cooling on the transmitter uh, normally put out 25 watts so I've wound this one back a little bit to help it stay cool the transmitter is on the right hand side and the receiver is over here um, the frequency for this is 439.85 megahertz and with a minus 5 offset for the receive uh, the controller is in the painted die cast box you can see at the top and it is a, an NHRC clone which was um, a circuit board put together by um, Adrian VK5 ZBR um, and it's got the ISD voice chip in it so it can do voice identification and it works quite well. This repeater used to be up at a different site um, it used to have the call sign VK5 RPL and it was a bit more closer to Port Lincoln than, uh, than this site uh, so it's been uh, transposed, the license amended and uh, it's in place now that's the back of the rack frame um, using a couple lengths of RG223 at the moment hopefully when things get finalised they'll be upgraded this is the, uh, the duplexer which consists of six uh, just normal pass cavities uh, no notches involved here um, they're fairly big which is, is one of the issues I'm going to try and deal with um, they normally, what's the frequency band? 225 to 400 megahertz. So they're, they're operating a little bit out of band and they work quite well. These, uh, once again, were put together by uh, the guys at AREG in Adelaide. The antenna for this repeater is a simple, single folded dipole antenna mounted virtually at the top of the tower. And I'll just see if I can head out here. You might not be able to see much, but we'll head out to the tower. Sorry for the wind noise. And if we look right up the top, it's up there. And believe it or not, you might be able to make out the tiny antenna sticking out on the right hand side. That is the uh, 70 centimetre dipole. And right on the top of the tower, that's the 2 metre. That is the 2 metre collinear antenna for the FM antenna. And this is the uh, building the tank and uh, we'll do a quick zoom around you can sort of see the countryside we're up fairly high Port Lincoln in the distance way over there and we've got another tower next door which has a lot of government services on it and, uh, panning right around and back in the side so uh, the repeater has slotted quite nicely into the top of the rack uh, we can I'll, I'll key it up and we'll see uh, got a little Roger beep at the end um, I'll see if I can I'll, I'll bring up the uh, voice ID VK5ZBR Port Peninsula and that's my lovely wife Anella doing the voiceover uh, got that tool programmed up last night believe it or not the night before coming up here um, one of the enhancements I might consider for this repeater is uh, turning it into an all-star node. Um, of course, the, the logical challenge then is getting uh, reliable internet or uh, a network connection between here and the D-Star repeater site, which is some 35 kilometres away. So that may be the only uh, logistical problem I have to deal with for that. Um, and the DC power again comes in from the, uh, the rack's power supply which is also then backed up by the, uh, the gel batteries which you can see at the bottom of the rack. 
right there. So that's about it for now. Um, those in the area, feel free as an open repeater, 439.85. Uh, free for, for use by all in the area. And uh, I hope that uh, people enjoy this repeater in its new home. This is Michael, VK5ZEA. Seven threes for now, and we'll talk to you again soon.